Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games and it's time to go nuclear. So this is in a real time strategy games where you're in a war, but you know what, normal wars, they're like no fun, you know, just like it's tedious, it takes a long time. Instead, let's just do a nuclear war. <laughs> no one said ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be playing this RTS now this game This is a demo and it will be available for free from October 7th So if you want to check it out and play it yourself, you can now I am going to click on multiplayer But do not let that fool you. We're gonna be playing a single-player game And let's begin this game by the way has been uh, published by Slytherin now we're only, only gonna play with two players and the reason for that is because it's gonna be a bit easier for me to explain the game if I'm not being shot at from 20 different directions. However, if you play with more than two, you can create alliances so you can be aligned with some other areas. We're gonna be playing as Europe and we'll be playing against Russia. Now at the start of the game you can choose how you want to distribute your points. So you have some sort of basic setup but we're actually going to choose something different. We're gonna remove all of these and we're gonna make our very own choices. So in this game you have multiple things that you can use. You've got um, airplanes, you've got um, ships or submarines, and then you've got um, radars and air bases and things like that. But I'm going to start off, actually I'm going to choose a research and I'm going to pick this SAM. Increasing speeds of strike aircraft and incredible expansion of the use of air power made clear to all after the end of World War II. The need for monumental rebuilding of anti-air defenses at all levels. A result of the modernization of radar and increase in fighter capabilities resulted in a change away from anti-air artillery, moving in step to ground-to-air missiles. Despite the limitation in early years of the missiles and control options, the Person of successful strikes quickly grew to 15 to 20 percent. So this is really amazing because this is going to allow us to shoot down uh, enemy planes, so enemy fighters or bombers and things like that. So this is very very useful. So we're going to pick at the start. We have still 540 points left. I would love an air base. Uh, radars we can get pretty easily, so we're not going to bother with it. Uh, instead, oh, we, we should also get like one. SAM side because why not since we have the research let's get it and now we're gonna grab some ships now because we're playing as Europe and against Russia we don't actually need many ships if you were playing as Europe and playing against let's say North America then you're gonna need some because it's you, you're gonna need carriers to bring your bombers and other airplanes close to the enemy so you can shoot them down but because we're playing against against Russia which is nearby we actually don't need that many I'm gonna get one destroyer and one can I get a carrier probably not no, it's too much. We could get a cruiser, which is a good firepower, can carry tactical nuclear missiles, anti-air defense. Yeah, let's grab one of those. And we still have 47 points left. So we'll try to get some nuclear bombs. So let's get like, I don't know, 10 of those. And maybe another SAM site. And nine points left, so we'll get some... We could get some planes, but we gotta be careful that we need to pick a plane that we can actually use. Because, for example, in the air bases, we've got bombers and fighters. So if you get attack bombers, you won't be able to use them. So I can just get a single fighter. And now we're gonna begin. So we're gonna publish this. We're gonna immediately start. Do not give anyone time to join in. And let us begin. Now obviously this game is multiplayer as you saw here, but yeah, we're gonna just gonna play it in a single player version. I'm quite excited for this game, I gotta say. Alright, so the game is paused at the moment, and here we can see our area. We're playing as Europe against Russia, which is over here. We are not playing against anybody else, so we don't have to worry about anybody else. Alright, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta set up our research and our construction. So the way this works is that you have a budget, and you put the budget into either science or construction or in both however much you like it there is no like a separate money management so you don't have anywhere like your credits or things like that or euros or etc the way this works is that you just kind of assign this and this depends how long it will take you to research or construct specific thing now because we started the game a little bit differently we chose to go for science we actually don't need to worry that much about uh, research so we're gonna focus mostly on construction we're gonna need a couple things first thing i need is we're gonna need radars this is super important we're gonna get two maybe we'll do more later but two for now is fine then i'm going to need a carrier this is very important because we need to be able to have at least one so we can kind of move the ships around and attack the enemy so this is going to take 40 seconds for each radar radar and nine minutes and 43 seconds for the carrier 
We're also going to set up a research. And now we can pick a couple of things. The couple uh, now, what's important in this game is that the the idea is that like in one game you probably want to research everything. So you're gonna kind of pick like what you want to do and which direction you want to go. I am going to go here for advanced aircraft. It's gonna take a pretty long time, but it's going to help allow us to make our planes much much stronger. So I like that quite a lot. So now we're gonna turn off the research. I'm gonna start placing our stuff. So we've got this SAM site. We're gonna place it, I'm gonna place it fairly close. Let's say like this, it has a range, this blue range around it and if any enemy plane comes towards it, it's gonna shoot. I'm gonna place an airbase behind this so that if they wanna use their planes to shoot up my airbase, this SAM site is gonna be able to sort of shoot them down before they get to me. We're gonna leave the second one, actually we're gonna place the second one down here just because. And then we'll place another airbase there later. We also have a destroyer and a cruiser. So we're going to place these ships down here. You need to place it within your area, this green area. It's like your waters. And if I am if I place it over here, it's going to be separate ship. But if I place it like this, you can see the green symbol. And that's essentially saying that it's going to combine in sort of like a one big um, fleet of ships. And then you can tell them to move around. We're going to tell them to move upwards. This way. I'm holding shift, by the way. And then I can combine this to create a patrol and essentially they're going to patrol in this area and if they see an enemy they're going to tell us. Now at the moment the only way for us to see an enemy is if these ships find someone or if they uh, show, up, show up like right next to the SAM site or the airbase. Uh, there's no other way to see them because we do not have any radars so this is something we're going to have to focus on. Okay, the time is going now, so the ships should slowly turn around and start moving and start patrolling in this area. They'll just continue moving back and forth and hopefully we'll get some good stuff soon. Now, we could already grab our planes and we could move them around. So we could grab our fighters and we could say, hey, go fly to St. Petersburg, to Kharkiv and to Moscow. And this should tell us if we can see any new enemies because the fighters they can obviously look around and tell us hey you can see something what's important is that they will not be able to see everything some uh, things like um uh, i think uh, not, not air bases some some um buildings are better hidden so you might not be able to see them with the, with the fighters unless they're like right on top of them or you might need like special research to find these things. So it's something to watch out for just because your fighter flew there and there's no, it didn't see anything doesn't necessarily mean that there's nothing there. Definitely watch out for that. Now, what this game does is every time something interesting happens, it will pause to allow you to deal with that. Now there are ways to sort of turn that off because later on if you're gonna play the game for a while you're gonna have a lot of different planes and vehicles and uh, planes and ships and so on. So you will want to turn that off but right now it's pretty useful. So we can place our very first radar. We have it over here. I'm gonna place a radar, let's say, I'm gonna place one kind of up on top here because you have the fighters that can kind of check stuff on the bottom. Okay. So we can see that there is an enemy fighter here. They also have a carrier and destroyer and two destroyers. So what we want to do is we want to take our airbase and we're going to send our fighters to first of all shoot their fighters because we don't want them to destroy our our radar, which they probably will honestly, but we're going to try. So our, our fighter is going to fly in this direction. They're going to shoot at our radar, which is not great. And then another thing we want to do, yeah, it's been destroyed. It's just, yeah, obviously. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to grab our ships and we're going to tell them all to go in this direction and ideally attack this destroyer. And we're going to turn on the time slowly. Now we're going to place our second radar kind of down here on the bottom. We could also add this fighter to this uh to this plane this airbase yeah just have it joined there so we can have a bit more overall yeah we definitely want to let our fighters sort of move in that direction i kind of wish i didn't place the sam side down here i could have played it up top but too late for that now could we we could actually make another sam side if you wanted to but i don't know if that's the most beneficial use of our time right now let's make another uh, radar and um nine minutes this time okay I'll place one SM site because why not? And in eight minutes we're gonna get that um, carrier, which is very useful. I'm not gonna place the radar up here because it'll just get destroyed. Instead, I'm gonna place one down here so that we can kind of see. Okay, they've got a radar there, so we want to grab our bombers and destroy it. 
Should be able to do that. I need more than one. We could also set up air patrol, which will allow our fighters to kind of fly around the base and shoot at the enemy if we can see them. It's just pretty useful right now because we can't see a lot of enemies around since our fighters are shooting. If they come close enough, the SAM sites will hit them. But okay, we destroyed the radar. Perfect. So they can't see us anymore. They still know we are here, obviously, because we were just there, but that's okay. The ships, by the way, if they uh, see an enemy ship, they will automatically fight. You don't need to actually set it up manually, but you can if you want to. Now we should tell our fighters once they sort of come back to, to move. Well, we have the air patrol, so they'll move automatically, but we want them to move a bit more further in that direction. The thing is, we have point of no return if you go and attack there, which is not ideal. But just kind of below this, this area of the ship, which is a bit sad if I had it like a little bit higher. But um, we could, however, send our bombs there. I mean, maybe on the destroyer instead. Try to see if we could, we could make me shoot there. I, I'm gonna send the fighters kind of in this area just to sort of see if there are any enemy fighters there so we can shoot them down because I'm worried that the bombers they're fairly weak they're like they're pretty easy to destroy so I'm worried that if we don't do that we can we could get hit. Could also speed up the time a little bit. Sort of set up the timer here. Enemy carrier not found at its last known location. Okay well then shoot at this thing then. Shoot at the destroyer if you can't shoot at the... Oh! Destroy action. Oh, oh, we, we don't see them anymore. Okay, well. Too late, but we can see them over here, so we maybe could grab the bomb or tell them to shoot at that. No, they just destroyed before I got to it. That was, that was a bit sad. That was a bit sad. We're almost there, and then bam. Yeah, we, we need more fighters in that general area to protect ourselves. I'm probably gonna place another airbase nearby to help with that. Because we definitely want to be able to shoot at them as much as we can. We have. Five minutes for the carrier, and then seven minutes for the SAM site. Hmm. I do wonder if we might want to cancel that and build another airbase instead. Place an airbase and just kind of jump it. We don't want to jump it, well actually we might want to jump it before the carrier. No, we'll, we'll wait for the carrier first. At the moment, they aren't really doing much to us. We're gonna start shooting at them from this direction, from the ships. We could potentially also tell our ships to kind of fall back and leave them alone because they are a bit stronger than they are. Maybe, maybe fall back a little bit. Oh, we actually destroyed. No, you know what? So then, then keep going. I was gonna stop because it seems like they are at a better shape than we are. But we are doing some nice damage, so. And we'll keep sending our fighters kind of in this dire general direction helping. What is this destroyed ring? It's actually full HP so we're pretty good. We saw their radar so we gotta destroy that. We're gonna send our bombers. Hey go. Send two of those there. Destroy it. Very soon we should get our carriage because it's gonna be really helpful. Really really helpful for us. Okay they only have one destroy left so we should be able to decimate that without any worry. Also our Bombers here are doing nice damage. What are you doing there? Don't, don't, don't go. Don't fly over Moscow. Like, what's wrong with you? Fly over our territory. <laughs> That's literally asking to be killed. Like, don't fly over their stuff. That's a terrible idea. Okay, we destroyed all of their ships. So we're going to grab the rest of our ships. And we're kind of going to move around in this direction. I just want to see if they've got anything else exciting in this area. Because that would be a worry of mine. Alright, now you might notice here that we actually lost a lot of fighters, so what we're going to do is going to click on replenish aircraft and that means that in this construction it will automatically add the fighters and the bombers we, we need for afterwards. So obviously we're first making the second airbase, actually I'm not going to first make the second airbase, we're going to move this forward. After we finish the carrier we're going to move it forward, so they will do this before the airbase because the airbase takes like 10 minutes or 9 at like the basic time and we actually would rather can i just like jump the whole thing no i have to jump it manually okay we'll do it like that all right now we've got ourselves a carrier so we're gonna grab it we're gonna plop it over here with the rest of our ships i'll tell them to move in this direction now the carrier is really cool because you can use it to shoot at stuff so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go all in on St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg has a population of 4 million and GDP of 11.7%. Oh, by the way, we learned that Russia is building the carrier. You can see espionage here. We also learned that they're studying the MRBM research. Let me tell you all about that. 
The space race by the superpowers helped develop reliable rocket motors to take useful loads into orbit, R&D of all necessary technologies from heat-resistant material for ignition chambers and pipes to highly aggressive oxidizing chemicals provided the possibility to start mass production of the first military missiles. So they're getting themselves better missiles, and probably they'll later get a missile vehicle, which is going to be bad for us. But we're going to focus on our aircraft. I think, I think we want to have really, really good planes. That's what we want to have right now. Now. We're gonna keep moving over here with our ships and what I was gonna do is I was gonna go on St. Petersburg. So we're gonna do a coordinated attack. So we'll move the carrier kind of down here so they can be sort of like in range. And then once we get a few more of these bombers and fighters, but we wanna place a ra radar um, up here so we can see in this area. We've got nothing there, that's great. And we're gonna attack both from the airbase and from the carrier and go all in. They have a population of four million, so we'll see how low we can get it. We have this, uh, we're gonna use the nuclear bombs because we've got them. And let's let's do an attack of, let's do six of them. And then here, we'll do an attack of, we're also gonna switch to nuclear mode. I'm gonna send all three of them there, one, two, three. And they should be able to start hitting it pretty significantly. Come on. Oh, uh, I must have not clicked that right. Wait, uh, I did that wrong. Let's, let's try this again. Yes, now. So we killed... how many did we kill? Ah, uh, 0 0.2 million. <laughs> okay. We can just click... also we can just click attack like this. Just say, hey, I want to go at St. Petersburg. And we'll, we're gonna do it with the with the other thing as well. I don't, know, I don't know what I misclicked the first time, but I'm just gonna do it this way, it's, it's a bit easier. Just like tell them like, hey, I want you to go at it, do what you can do. We've got seven minutes till we get our airbase. I'm gonna place our second airbase. I was gonna place it up here to defend against ships, but they don't seem to have any more ships. So you might just wanna place another one down here next to the SAM site. All right, we can see an enemy bomber, so this is interesting. If they move the bomber up here to protect St. Petersburg, we won't have much protection, but if they choose to move it down here, see, you know what, maybe turn off the air patrol, because we, we actually don't necessarily want the fighter to go there. We might wanna leave them, yeah, I was gonna let them come here towards the SAM site, but if they're going at the radar, we're gonna need that protection. Where are you going, man? Yeah, see the SM site's now shooting at it and it's doing some pretty nice damage. Also, we keep attacking St. Petersburg a little bit, which is nice. You could also click here to automatically refill storage. So if you don't have any available bombs, it's again going to add it here in the construction, but not quite yet. Let's see. Oh, we hit Kiev. Nice. Oh no, they hit Kiev. Okay, okay. Sucks for us. We didn't stop the bomber in time. That's, that's okay, I think. Yeah, we shot that one there pretty nicely. Um, yeah, the SAM site doesn't have the, the range for Kiev, unfortunately. It's just like, it's protecting Odessa and Bucharest and... Well, not quite Elvolf, but near there, but it doesn't, doesn't reach the Kiev. Uh, we, we, might, we might get another one. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna get another one soon. Another the SAM site, and we could move it... Uh... Let me cancel that. It's alright, though. We'll move the SM site first, it's only going to take 51 seconds, and then we'll place it next to Kiev, because we want to protect it. I'm not letting you destroy it. Alright, let's send some more... More things to go there. We want to keep attacking where we can. Maybe, maybe two more. Hopefully it will not get destroyed, we'll see. But our carry is not doing much, like I would love you to... Would you like go and attack? That'd be nice. Yeah, Kiri is a bit bit slow on that, but hopefully. We'll see, we'll see how well they can do it. Yeah, we're doing some nice damage here. Very nice. Now here by the way you can see your total population and how many um, ve uh, well, vehicles, I mean, uh, airplanes and ships you have and etc. Alright, so we've got this, so we need to protect Kiev and our radar, so we're gonna place it, we're gonna place it very, very close to the border, so that even if they just come close to their border, we'll be able to shoot it down, which I think is quite useful. We're continuing with our airbase, so we're gonna speed up the time a little bit so we can move a bit faster. 
Now, later on in this game, you're going to get a lot of different uh, planes and ships and so on. So what you can do is you can create strike planes and you can essentially say, hey, I want carriers to attack cities. I want carriers and airbase to attack cities. And then you could create like a secondary plan that, for example, say that you want uh, this like missile vehicles attack their air bases or something like that. And then if you click OK, you create this kind of plan and then you can just click on this plan and you can say, hey, I want to execute plan alpha and every sort of like uh, ship and um, air base and everything, they're going to automatically focus on that, which I think is pretty interesting. So for example, right now we would have a combined attack on St. Petersburg work and Moscow. It's probably not the best decision at this point in time, but I do want to show it to you so you can just kind of see it. So we're going kind of on Moscow and we're throwing at them. Yeah quarter of the million people dead in Moscow. Yeah, but they're, they're going to protect themselves against it. So like I said, because we don't have much like protection, it's actually not the best idea. Now we're going to moving around, but yeah, we, we definitely wouldn't, shouldn't do that. We should cancel that because it's way too soon to do that. But I, I wanted to show you kind of how it works, that you can set this kind of thing up and you can create like coordinated attacks and you can say, hey, I want you to focus on air bases. I want you to focus on cities and things like that, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, there's like a lot of research as you can see over here, like a lot of things you can do in this game. I think we're going to end the very first episode of over here, but uh, yeah, this is definitely just a very quick um, show of the current demo. So the final version might be very different because there's a lot more that you can do in this game. You can have satellites like and so on and we didn't even touch on missile vehicles and, and you know, proper submarines and things like that. So there's a lot to this game. Let me know if you'd like a second episode and uh, you can click on the right to watch some other games that are published by Slytherin that I played on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.